Hey, gun people and car people. Okay, everybody remember when the mice got into my Toyota and chewed up all the uh, wires? I did this video and I used some steel wool and some stainless steel to kind of block the path where the mice were getting on the engine. Here's a couple seconds to kind of recap that. Hey, people with mice and engine problems. Man, this has been a... Um, Harness. 150 bucks. Two days later, mice went in there. And uh, I'll slide in the picture and shoot up all underneath here. Okay, so what I did is I got some steel wool and I blocked these corners where Toyota puts this foam around their engine. And uh, the mice just chew through the foam and get in there and hide. So I put some steel wool and some stainless steel here. So if the mice tried to chew or get through the foam, they would hit the steel wool and they wouldn't get in this nice little warm spot underneath here, which cost $900 for Toyota to rip me off and remove this when it's actually a $400 job, but they charge $900. Uh, anyway, so I, I put this. Well, when I put this, I had a lot of comments about, I'm going to catch my engine on fire. So if you look at just the comments real quick here, I did a search for fire because I knew everybody in the comments had all these comments. Uh, steel finder, steel wool, fire hazard. Be careful using steel wool, hot services. It can burn. It starts tender. That's the first thing I thought of. Wow. Steel wool will catch fire. Don't use it. Oh my God. I'm so scared. All these people try. Steel wool can catch fire. Oh no. What should I do? Well, I did a video. So here's a couple tests where I took some of this steel wool and I tried to light it with a flame and I put it in a 400 degree oven to see if it would catch fire. Here we go. Okay, so I got a lot of comments about the steel wool is going to catch fire under my engine. So I want to put a piece out here and uh, see what happens when I put fire directly to it. So we get a little wind here. That's fire. Will it burn? With a direct flame, it kind of sizzles out, but I wouldn't say it's burning. But that's with a direct flame. Now, I'm going to put it in a oven at 400 degrees because I don't think my uh, car is getting over 2, 250 on the outside so uh, we'll try that okay so this thing's 375 degrees in there and I'm gonna put some steel wool in there and let's see if it catches on fire get the light to come on So it's already 375 in there. It's not bursting into flames like everyone was telling me on the internet. Steel wool will catch fire. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not getting 375 degrees on the outside of my engine while I'm driving. But maybe I'm wrong. I'll turn this up to 400 and see if 400. I just raised the temperature to 400. See if that catches it on fire. So 375, it definitely isn't bursting into flames, and now it's heating up to 400. So as usual, when I hear things on the internet and I read comments, and I've read several comments, I'll slide some in. Man, you should put steel wool on your engine. That stuff will catch fire. It's very flammable. Steel wool will catch fire, man. Don't do that. And I was like, really? I've never, like, seen steel wool catch fire. But I'll check. So I'm calling this debunked. 400 degrees. It ain't on fire. And even when I put a lit flame to it, it kind of just sizzles out. So, uh... I'm calling BS on all your comments and another just another reason on why you shouldn't listen to the internet talk about how you know 
everybody's always smart on the internet and going to give you all this great advice and you should always listen to everybody that comments because if you're able to comment you must know what you're talking about right still wool ain't catching fire at 400 degrees that's good enough for me my engine ain't getting 400 degrees all right i had to bust that okay so i call that busted and for the people wondering i did pull out just so i didn't leave this in before i sold my toyota i removed the steel wool uh reached in there with little pliers and pulled out all the steel wool i did leave the stainless steel just at the entry uh but i pulled out most of the steel wool so you know someone else uses it i mean it might protect them if they get mice but I didn't want to leave all the steel wool because of all the safety settings telling me I'm going to burn down my engine. Even though I think my test proves I don't think my engine is getting 400 degrees. And there's no direct flame under there. But anyway. All right. Well, in that there, always listen to the commenters. They always know best. And they're all experts. Well, in that there, I really do appreciate good advice. But I don't appreciate made-up advice or repeating shit that you heard. Y'all have a good one.